Hi, my name is Miriam Levy. I'm the Associate Dean of the School of Public Health at the University of Memphis, and I'd like to share with you some of the initiatives the School of Public Health is doing in response to COVID-19. I'd like to share a little bit first about the School of Public Health. We're a CEF accredited school. That means we're nationally accredited by the Council on Education for Public Health. And the School of Public Health and Shelby County Health Department are partners in an academic health department, which means our students train there and get uh, experience in public health practice. And also our faculty collaborate with the health department in conducting research regarding disease patterns and effectiveness of public health initiatives. And our core values in public health are health equity and social justice. And that translates very importantly to the COVID-19 response. I'd like to share with you four initiatives that the School of Public Health has undertaken to reduce the risk and transmission of COVID-19 in our community. First, with our collaboration with the Shelby County Health Department, our graduate students in the Master of Public Health program, Master of Health Administration program, and doctoral students have volunteered at the health department, serving as case investigators and contact tracers for individuals who've been in contact with people diagnosed with COVID-19. Also, our faculty have been, been involved in evaluating the mitigation strategies of the mayor's office related to social distancing, uh, such as the Safer at Home initiative and the uh, recommendation to use face masks. So we have use videos uh, provided by the Memphis Police Department of public places to observe the number of people who complied with these recommendations by the mayor's office. And we have a very robust face mask compliance program, actually a study that we're doing in relationship or in partnership with the Shelby County Health Department. Our students, we have four MPH students who are conducting videotape observations of entertainment, recreation, and business areas using city cameras, again, provided by the health department of places such as Beale Street, malls, large areas where a lot of people convene to see the compliance of people wearing masks. Our MPH students will also be collecting data, counting the number of individuals who wear masks in public settings in large, um, business areas in large retail areas, the health department gave us a list of 20 zip codes, 10 of which are high risk areas for COVID-19 transmission, 10 of which are low risk areas. So uh, they have identified large retailers in each of those areas. So our students are go going to be doing on-site inobtrusive monitoring to see compliance rates in those uh, locations. We also have an online survey, a web-based survey, that's being used to assess levels of mask usage as well as barriers to wearing masks. Institutions partnering with the Shelby County Health Department and the Mayor's Office, and this includes churches and businesses and community organizations, have been asked to distribute a web link to their constituents in order to complete an anonymous survey that we can use to compile information about this uh, behavior. And a benefit, we are partnering with the Nashville Metro Health Department to be able to compare our data with theirs in this effort. This is just an example of the types of video cameras that the police department have, and they're again in public places. And this is kind of shots of what people, what our students will be observing in the uh, retail establishments when they're on site. And I'm very excited to tell you about our Telehealth for Vulnerable Populations webinar series that we have been doing in June 2020 in response to COVID-19 telehealth expansion. It's been estimated there's a 2,600% increase in telehealth visits since COVID-19 hit. So this is a series of six one-hour webinars that um, we're providing credit for um, social workers, behavior analysts, and public health professionals. And we're doing this in partnership with FedEx Institute of Technology. We're very grateful for their support. 
This is reaching a national audience. We've had registrations as high as 507 for one webinar with 370 people on the waiting list. So it's been very well received. Why are we doing a telehealth series for vulnerable populations? Well, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused 400, over 435,000 deaths worldwide so far, and over 119,000 deaths in the United States so far. And there's a disproportionate impact on communities of color. It's estimated that twice as many African Americans die versus other populations due to COVID-19. The good news is that telehealth has quickly expanded access to healthcare for underserved and vulnerable populations such as minorities, those in rural areas, and the elderly. So our joint efforts at the University of Memphis with, led by the FedEx Institute of Technology, partnering with the School of Public Health and other institutes um, go a long way in helping provide information to other locations. <coughs> I have to drink something. So the goal of the webinar series is to share best practices and lessons learned from our practitioners at the University of Memphis, to not only expand access to healthcare to the underserved, but improve the quality of that care to be culturally relevant, effective, and empowering. This is a synopsis of the webinar series. The first dealt with um, best practices for delivering telehealth to underserved clients, setting up the home environment to have an effective um, method of engaging caregivers. And our most popular is has been telehealth and school-based programming. A lot of social workers have been very eager to learn about using school-based um, telehealth in their schools, in their areas, um, as a way to reach their students. We had one session on training health profession students via remote learning, where a social worker, a behavior analyst, and a nurse talked about how they're using remote learning to train their students. Um, their students um, can't get clinical practice in the field because of COVID-19. So they've had to switch to remote learning to not only train their students, but evaluate their proficiency. So that's been very important. And I'm very, i um, proud of the fact that this series has featured interdisciplinary panels of clinicians in the Interprofessional Community Health Clinic at the University of Memphis. We've had a behavior analyst, psychologist, social worker, a healthcare interpreter, a nurse, a speech language pathologist, an audiologist, and even a CPA and attorney talk about best practices in delivering telehealth, billing for telehealth, and reaching uh, underserved populations. And in closing, I'd like to thank the FedEx Institute of Technology, the Shelby County Health Department, and the Mayor's COVID-19 Joint Task Force for their partnership and support in addressing COVID-19. It's been not only the pleasure of the School of Public Health, but our responsibility to do everything that we can to use our expertise in epidemiology, biostatistics, environmental health, health systems and policy, and also social and behavioral sciences to marshal our resources to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and protect the community. So thank you very much for um, watching this video and we look forward to future efforts to uh, improve the health of the community.